It's Sunday here in California, the Bay Area, and I'm burning out a plum tree stump underneath that grill, that screen, and that cover. And I've had to sit out here all day. I was doing some sketching over in that bag on the uh, picnic table, but I was also doing some reading. And it, w it is a collection of horror short stories by none other than Richard Corbin, Shadows of the Grave. I'm about halfway through the 25 stories. I'm probably on story number 11. And I'm having a lot of fun reading this. Surprisingly, I knew Corbin did the story and the art and the cover, but I did not know he also did the lettering, which I find pretty good as well. Here are the stories along with an introduction and a cover gallery. <laughs> Hill of Husbands. That one there. Such pretty little toes. Don't steal from the dead. There's an introduction by Mike Shields. I've not read that yet. I don't know for sure, but I believe this series was um, like a mini series or maybe a maxi series from Dark Horse Comics. And the stories are, they're, it's an anthology. The comic is an anthology. The stories are very, very short. They have a premise. Not much explanation why things are happening. Usually there's a revenge or some kind of payback or violent outcome for the main characters. And as Earl Grey has noted, and I didn't really ever much attribute the style, but uh, Corbin's characters are very bubblegum-like in appearance and texture. And now all I can think about is bubblegum characters. Thank you, Earl Grey. Anyway, it's Corbin, and it's great stuff. I like that his worlds that he writes about and draws about are not up-to-date as far as technology goes with the internet or phones, but they are grounded in the past. Old trucks, farmhouses, agricultural areas. This one has a modern uh, bent to it. it. The characters are flying in a almost like a paraglider with the reverse wing and uh, pontoons to land on water. But Corbin does what he does best with the characters and the textures and the horror and the silhouettes and the shading. They're always very nice. Great way to spend this Sunday afternoon while keeping an eye on the fire. Apparently, this is uh, Shadows of the Grave. The first collection, Spirits of the Dead, is going for about $45 right now on Amazon and eBay. The cover price to these are about 20 bucks. So, I don't have Spirits of the Dead. I want to get Spirits of the Dead, and I wish I had purchased it when it was still in print or not in demand. I wrote Dark Horse Comics asking if they're going to reprint it, and I'm waiting for a reply. I may have to pay the 40 plus dollars to pick up the collection. And I believe they are Edgar Allan Poe stories, whereas these stories are by Corbin and Jan Stranad and a few other writers. It's a nice page there. He goes from ink, it looks like, and back to his airbrush style. And really, I don't know how he does it. The airbrush style, especially the color. I would love to see someone... I believe there's a video I found in Spanish. The language is in Spanish, and they go over a technique similar to how Corbin did his airbrushing and color work. But for the black and white, I, I still don't understand how he does it. How he gets those textures. And I would like... That's a nice panel there, the body. I would love to see how Corbin does his airbrush work for effects like that. 
this is a great page here the thing in the swamp very atmospheric I mean look at this I love that page right there it is beautiful in this swamp the Okagauchi Okagauchi swamp is featured in at least two stories that I've read so far I don't know if if the environment comes back again later but it's definitely a reoccurring place in his stories who knows it may be in some of his other short stories before this one it's a very nice page here atmospheric moody and shady anyway this is Richard Corbin shadows of the grave I apologize if sitting in the shade of this other plum tree uh, actually a sapling I think I apologize if the coloring is too blue or if it's too dark but if you like Corbin and you want a nice summer read or maybe in the fall look at the thickness of that pick it up